Hello friends, this video on nutrition in animals part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, before we talk about these steps in human beings, let us start with some other animals. Let us start with some simpler animals because human being is a quite complex animal. So let's start with amoeba. So amoeba is a unicellular animal that is just one cell makes it all. That's all. Now in human beings, we have multiples, thousands and thousands of cells inside our body. But in amoeba, just one cell and that one cell does all the job. It, it helps in eating food, it helps in excreting out waste products, it helps in moving from one place to another. So everything is being done by just one cell. So it is a unicellular organism and this also has holozoic nutrition. So this also takes complex food. So that is also very interesting the way amoeba uh, takes food inside its body just with the help of this one cell. So how exactly it happens? So in case of amoeba also the nutrition is not one step. It also involves a lot of steps. The first step is again ingestion and ingestion that is intake of food happens with the help of pseudopodia. What is pseudopodia? Pseudo means false and podia means feet. So it is like a false feet, not the true feet, but false feet. So do you see anything which looks like feet in amoeba? Not really. It is just, it, it doesn't even have a, a very specific shape. It has an irregular shape and it is very flexible in changing its shape. So pseudopodia is nothing but these extensions which you see. So these are extensions of the body which, which actually crawls on the surface and that's how it moves from one place to another. So pseudopodia is extension of the body which is which acts like a false feet because it helps the animal to move from one place to another. So this pseudopodia also helps in intake of food and this process of intake of food is called phagocytosis. This is very important and this is very interesting as well. So the, here we can see the exact process how amoeba takes in food. So see this is the amoeba. So you see this is the body of amoeba as I said the shape keeps changing. So you see the shape got changed in such a way that the food particle got trapped here. So this is basically the food particle and this is the amoeba. Right? So you see the amoeba changed its shape such that the food particle got trapped. And then again it changed its shape in such a way that the food particle got trapped inside. So basically what happened by the end of this three things. So the food entered inside the body of amoeba. Ingestion happened. So this ingestion could happen due to the movement of the pseudopodia. So this type of movement which helps amoeba to move from one place to another is due to these pseudopodia and that is why they are called false feet. Now once the food particle enters inside then comes digestion. Now there are a lot of enzymes present inside the amoeba which are released from the food vacuole. So inside the amoeba you can see some structures called food vacuoles. Here you can see. So these digestive enzymes they help in breaking down the complex food into simpler forms. Now once the food is broken down, so this type of digestion is called intracellular digestion. Why? Because it takes place inside the cell. So this entire body of amoeba is nothing but just one cell. So the process of digestion is happening inside this one cell. That is why it is called intracellular digestion. Once it is digested, then comes the turn of absorption. So the digested food diffuses to the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is nothing but the fluid which is present inside the cell. So here you have a fluid like structure. So that fluid again, it, it is just like the blood which we have inside our body. So blood moves from one place to another. So this fluid will also like move from one place to another. And that's how the fluid will carry the digested food to different parts of amoeba. Then the fourth step assimilation where the absorbed food is stored and utilized later for synthesis. Now once the digested food is absorbed and it is all ready. So the food will be utilized as and when required. So we do not use all the food right away. So we keep it in store and whenever it is required we utilize some part of it. So that's how it is utilized for energy because it is not necessary that the amoeba needs all the energy just at once. 
so it, it will be needing energy every time it does some work so as it needs energy the, similarly the absorbed food can be utilized and finally ejection where the undigested food is expelled out through the cell membrane so cell membrane is nothing but this wall which surrounds the cell that is cell membrane so whichever food is not digested that is thrown out of the body so you see in amoeba also the steps remain the same it is just that since the structural organization of the animal is quite different from that of human beings like human beings are a lot a lot more com complex so amoeba being simpler the way each of these steps happen that is little different but when we talk about human beings again the same steps will happen as a part of holozoic nutrition but the way each of these happen they are going to be different because the structural organization inside the human body is very very different from that of amoeba thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again